In 2007, a user named Epuffbelsonited E uploaded an animation called G Operation Infiltration on a website called Newgrounds. However, what they did not know is their animation career, starting from that point will pay off heavily, 13 years later. So, this is the story of a video game you probably played before, Henry Stickman. Sit back, grab the popcorn and enjoy. Marcus Bromander is a 8-year-old Swedish-American child in 1998. He was interested in making video games after seeing the video game Galian Hominid on the Game Boy Advance console in a store. Fast forward to early 2010s, after Marcus graduated from high school and college, he attended the Oregon State University in USA, where he met Forrest Willard, an employee of Microsoft Corporation, who will be referred to Fortebasque from now on. They began making video games after graduation and founded a privately held company called Ginnersloth in 2015. Marcus created his Newgrounds account, called Gpuffbelsonited, which we will refer to him by now, on December 14, 2007. Two days later, he published his first video game at Crossing the Pit, a game about a stick figure trying to cross a broken bridge. He created two animations around the same time, Operation Infiltration, which featured the fan-favorite Top Hat clan, and The Bridge. He continued making many more animations even after starting to make video games and published them on his YouTube channel, which currently sits around 115,000 subscribers. Roughly eight months after making Crossing the Pit, Puffbelsonited made another video game about another stickman trying to rob a bank, breaking the bank, on August 27, 2008. This game won two awards, daily fifth place on August 29 and front-paged on April 25, 2009 on Newgrounds. After the success of Breaking the Bank, the developer released its sequel Escaping the Prison on April 11, 2010. It got the previous mentioned awards and also got the A Weekly User's Choice Award three days after release. The next episode of the series is Stealing the Diamond it came out on July 8, 2011 and made a name for both the series and the protagonist, Henry Stickman, with the previous awards it also got review crew pick four days after release. Fast forward to May 27, 2013. When Puffbelsonided released Infiltrating the Airship G. It got the same awards as the previous episode. It a major episode in the series and featured the fan favorite characters, Charles Calvin and Right Hand Man, who is Puffball's favorite character. Perhaps that is why he has a similar voice to Puffbelsonided. It also had the most favorite and least favorite fails of the developer, Gravity Bubble and a Gravity Manipulator, a eh, respectively. After two years and six months, Puffball's released Fleeing the Complex, the final Henry Stickman game to be put on Newgrounds. It also featured the first character to be not voiced by Puffballs, Ellie Rose. It got all the awards as the previous episode, except a Review Crew's Pick Award. This game featured one of the most liked features in the series, the E-Map, replacing the Step Back button from the previous games. After fleeing the complex released in 2015, Puffbelsonited decided to make a remaster of all the previous Henry Stickman games, as well as a new game. Plans of this were initially announced in 2016, saying that he was working on a grand finale for the series. Over time, a lot of teasers have been posted on Puffball's Newgrounds account. In 2019, he posted an announcement video on YouTube, revealing that all the remasters and the new game are combined into a single game, named, The Henry Stickman Collection. The finale of the series turned out to be completing the mission. After the announcement video, many teasers of the game popped up on Puffball's YouTube channel, the most notable one being a April Fool's prank video of the subsonic wave to fail from completing the mission, but the subsonic wave was replaced with the popular meme song, Never Gonna Give You Up, by Rick Astley. In June 2020, Puffballs confirmed the release date of the collection to be on August 7, 2020. A day before the game released, a launch trailer was premiered on Puffball's YouTube channel. The game was released the following day on Steam, with a price of 15 American dollars. It was rated at 98% out of 24,000 reviews on Steam. With the success of the collection, the Henry Stickman series officially closed. After the Henry Stickman series officially ended, the fans of the series started to make custom sequels and prequels for the official canon of the series. Many of these fan-made creations can be found in Game Jolt and Scratch websites. While it may be true Henry Stickman's popularity died just like any other thing that goes viral, but this game will forever stay in our hearts. It is interesting to know the history of the Henry Stickman series, right? Since we were talking about the fan-made creations, these will not always be finished. Some creators may run out of motivation and many other reasons make them cancel their creations. 
I have dug a bit deeper into that field, so click on the video on the screen if you also want to dig deep and I will see you soon again.